They just kept coming. Hundreds of people filling the streets around the Irish Parliament in Dublin. At vigils nationwide, they paused to express their shock and anger at the murder of Ashley Murphy. People well, are really sad as well and that this has happened again. And this has happened to a young woman and it's so, so young and just starting out in her life. Um, doing something so ordinary um, and I think that everyone knows that that could be them. I want to be able to go on a jog at four in the afternoon or even at ten at night or midnight or three in the morning or whatever, like to do, just to be able to live without worrying that some man is going to come along and like end my life. Ireland's Prime Minister and Taoiseach Micheál Martin joined those remembering the young school teacher. Some campaigners believe the public response to her death could signal a turning point for this country. This is basically about um, the lack of respect, the lack of care we have for each other, regardless of gender. We really do not need to be in a country where gender defines your level of fear, and that's what it is right now. Ashleen Murphy's parents described their youngest child as a special girl, an angel and the rock of their family. The 23-year-old was attacked while jogging alongside the Grand Canal in rural Tullamore. Police released their first suspect, sparking renewed fear, but later said they were making significant progress. There were there huge parallels between this and the murder of Sarah Everard last year. It was a young woman out on her own, um, it, except that this happened in the middle of the day. It could have been anybody at any time, and I think people are kind of, people are a bit scared, particularly women are scared to go out, go, to go out on their own, and, and many people will be thinking twice about going, on, going for that walk or going for that run. But that sense of fear has been overtaken by another growing sentiment, that enough is enough. These people say they don't want to be here, marking the horrific murder of another young woman, but that they have no choice, that this needs to be the watershed moment in the long campaign to end violence against women. Church leaders said this island could only begin to consider itself civilised when women can live free from fear. David Blevins, Sky News, in Dublin.